Right now, even in the face of global headwinds, including a war in Europe and successive variants of the pandemic, our economy remains resilient. Our unemployment rate stands at 3.6 percent, household finances are strong, and industrial output continues to grow. As President Biden has said, we have entered a new phase in our recovery, focused on achieving steady, stable growth without sacrificing the gains of the last 18 months. We know there are challenges ahead of us. Growth is slowing globally. Inflation remains unacceptably high. And it's this administration's top priority to bring it down. Most economists and most Americans have a similar definition of recession. Substantial job losses and mass layoffs. Businesses shutting down. Private sector activities slowing considerably. Family budgets under immense strain. In some, a broad-based weakening of our economy. That is not what we're seeing right now when you look at the economy. Job creation is continuing. Household finances remain strong. Consumers are spending and businesses are growing. Sometimes people use the word recession to refer to that. That's really about inflation. But I think that the discomfort that households feel, it's not because of the job market. Um, jobs are readily available, and most Americans feel good about their employment prospects. Layoffs have been low. They may, some may worry that the economy, that the labor market will weaken, but I think the biggest burden that's weighing on negatively on household sentiment is inflation, and that's why that is our top priority in terms of addressing that.